Hey what's up guys, Fahazman here. In this video, I am going to show you how to live stream from a PC using Prism Live Studio. It is a useful tool for anyone who is looking for a way to enhance their pre-recorded videos and live streams on social networks. This app brings you tons of filters, stickers and other camera effects to enhance your production and make them look amazing. One of the best thing about the Prism Live Studio for Windows app is the fact that it's compatible with practically any streaming platform and to top it all off, all the high quality services it offers are totally free. Also add fun stickers and various media files such as video clips, images and music to create your own special videos with ease. The download link of this software is available in the video description. After installation, launch the program, you will see the interface like this. First of all, you need to log in with your email. You can also log in with Facebook or Google account. Here you can choose any option. After login, here we have it. So clean and simple interface. Everything is available at a glance. So even if you are a beginner, you can use it like a pro. At the top, we have different channels like Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, etc. You can log in to multiple accounts at the same time and then we have edit screen and live screen. And then we have scenes options. We can create multiple scenes and from here you can add source files to your scene. Here we have audio settings and at the right side we have different icons like beauty effects, stickers, background change etc. So first you need to sign in to your account where you want to live stream. For example, you want to go live on YouTube, here click on YouTube and sign in with your YouTube account. You can also turn it off from here if you don't want to stream on YouTube. And from here you can add multiple channels. So for example, if you also want to stream on Facebook, Twitch or on another platform, you can also sign in from here to begin streaming with Prism Live. And here we will create different scene like start and ending screen etc. And then we will add source files to our scenes. Here are multiple options. You can add webcam, monitor capture, window capture, game, web, video or music. Here I want to add video footage for intro. So I will choose video. Click on OK. Import the video file. And here you can click on loop to play it on loop. And here we have also other options. You can choose according to your requirements. So here it is how it will look. Now next scene is our video where we will add our webcam or window capture for live streaming. So for example, you want to add webcam, select it and click on OK. Here you can also change its resolution and frame per second. And the very cool feature is Prism Mobile. If you don't have webcam, you can use your cell phone camera as a webcam with this software. You just need to install Prism Live Studio app on your phone and you can use mobile camera as a web camera for your PC. And the next cool feature of this software is beauty effects. You can apply beauty effects while live streaming. You can change the look of your face to look even more beautiful. You can change it to cute or sharp. You can change the shape of your face to look sharp. Now just focus on my face. You can also change the look of your eyes, nose and skin. It's so simple and easy.
and the next cool thing is background. You can change the background even without a green screen. So look at this, it's so cool. Next we have prism sticker. You can apply different stickers on your live streaming screen. Not just stickers, here are also different GIFs. You can also search any GIF, for example I search subscribe. So you can see here we have different subscribe button. So we click on it and just set it to our screen. The best thing about this software, all the features are free and all resources are copyright free. So the next cool feature is background noise removal. So if in the live stream you feel background noise, you can just turn this on to remove the background noise. How cool is that? And if you click on setting button, in general, you can remove the prism watermark in your video. If you don't want to display the watermark, you can easily disable it. Next we have output settings. You can change the video bitrate, recording quality, audio settings, visual settings, source and hotkey settings. So when you are ready to go live, click on go live button and here you can choose the live streaming, title, video privacy, category and write the video description here. And choose the option made for kids or not and then finally click on go live and that's it. So I think Prism is a fantastic way to connect with your audience. It is simple, user friendly and easy to use. The link of this software is available in the video description so must check it out. So that's it for this video. Give this video a like and comment down below if you have any question. Subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.